Welcome back to chapter four, where we pick up with the conversation with Constable Bart, the skeletal swashbuckler. You all, you all look like a, a group that I've kind of been, I've been waiting for this opportunity for uh, for a while. And you kind of look like a man with a lot of answers that we have a lot of questions that need answering. Yep. And the bartender of that place that the undead can't come in or whatever that bar is called. Oh, don't get me started on that. Place. I know I'm so sorry. discriminatory. <laughs> <laughs> but the bar that the bartender told us to find you that you would be able to help us out. Alright, and it, and when he said discriminatory, he looks at you like for you to nod in agreement before <laughs> yeah. he like he's listening to you. Anyway. <laughs> and he says, we can talk but not not on this this proper this field. We can go to my abode. Uh, well, let's go. Let's get out of here. At least let's, for now, it's let's see. Yeah, let's go. We got some questions. Yeah, he takes you to do, like a rundown area, uh, like a rundown little like half house. That's uh, like some of the walls are collapsed in. It doesn't look great. You can tell why he wanted to be in the undead unwelcome in uh, pub, but he like he brings you into this area, and he says, "All right, now we can talk freely." Uh, what questions do you have? Uh, Who are you? Uh, the name is, uh, like, <laughs> I've dubbed myself Constable, as there is no law or order in this town. Uh, so my name's Constable Bot, uh, short for Bartholomew. Uh, you can thank my mother for that. Uh, Bot. Uh, it, I feel like it's my, uh, my duty to, uh, help these people, even if they don't want to help themselves. And helping them by what way? Uh, get them out of here. Yeah. I don't know how I came to be here. Uh, besides you all, I, I'm the only person. Like, I died. I was here. I, I don't know why. Hmm. I was a pirate before this. Um, I mean, I was part of the... Like, I was a sea pirate. Uh, I was part of a league of pirates. Uh, all of our ships got burned. It was a crazy turn of events. Wait a minute. Are you part of the sea princess? Uh, yes, uh, that's where I hail from. Yeah, my mother was the queen of the sea princess. Mm. Can you remind me of her name off the books so that I know who yeah, she is? Yeah, her, her name is Sonia. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, Queen Sonia, I remember her. Yeah. Uh, whatever happened to the sea princess? She was killed by an evil lord that ruin, rules and reigns in our lands right now. But how affairs are... How fair is our empire? You're all dead. I slaughtered you all. That's not good. You <laughs> <laughs> have to be a Debbie Downer. <laughs> uh, more. Uh, he said that's not good. More than. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> still not wife. At least I've uh, survived. I, I don't know if you call this living, but I think that uh, it's only. My my given duty to uh, try to make heads or tails out of this. Well, you know what? <clears throat> we can work together, figure something out, maybe restore the name of the sea princess by defeating this asshole that we have to defeat. Um, maybe you can help us. We're actually looking for something while we're here. I don't, I don't know how I feel, quite honestly, with one of them in our presence. Oh, oh, that he's uh, me? I don't even like those guys. <laughs> he's he's fine, I promise, bro. He's our brother. But you are an elder vampire, correct? What? An elder vampire? He That's what they keep saying, but the other world. vampire said, I'm an imposter, so you tell me. Well, they all they call everyone who was an offspring of an elder vampire imposter. So see... So how does that work? Who's not an offspring, though? Hierarchy goes, you know... Elder Vampire around since the beginning of Vampires. I'm not quite sure how I've still tried to figure that out. Why that is, like, vampires exist. I don't know what that's about. But Elder Vampire, the original, were from that. Uh, but then their offspring also were Elder Vampires. And then anybody who they uh, turn or infect... They become their spawn. So you kill the elder vampire, which is what 
uh, I was gonna get at. You kill the their uh, their whole spawn too. So if we take out each Elder Empire, then killing those knights who come down will be a much easier task. And what about the offspring? The offspring. That I mean, there's no offspring in the city that I know of, unless you are offspring. I think so. Yeah, I'm offspring. Anyway. Who was your... Who was that guy that we fought and you got... Who turned you? What, what was his name? So tell me what happened. What happened? So he turned you. So he asked me if I wanted to be a vampire and I said, sure. Yeah, but before that he was kicking our royal butts. We were on a mission when we went into this cave. He was in there. We fought him. But we actually found out he was actually cool. He wasn't eating people. He was super cool. He was eating animals. So you you ran into a defector. I have no uh, I have no knowledge of defectors, but the only thing I can assume is he willingly parted with his vampiric. Yes, nature. that's exactly yeah. right. And so, he was super powerful. So that's not uh, that's not textbook. If you like, that's never happened as mm-hmm. far as I've concerned. No one's really wanted to do that. So the only way I know you become an elder vampire is if, one, you you were started as one, or uh, the vampire is your actual dad, not like a, like, ah, oh, you sired me, dad. Mm. So I guess willingly giving up your vampiric nature also makes, you makes an elder, elder vampire. vampire. Huh. So that's you technically don't me. know who you are, who he was an offspring of. So that's why he called me an imposter. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I have think, some words for him. So, so why, why do you say we gotta kill the knights? So, what is that? Okay. Oh, oh, got it. All right. So, uh, I've been here, and you can uh, put all this together because, like, remember Lord Ember said he'd been studying. The original group from multiple millenniums. So something happens at time in the shadow fell. Yeah. So he said, I've been here for untold yeah, yeah. years. There's no tracking of the years here. But from what I can gather is there's many places like this in the shadow fell. The only well way to know for certain where you're going or where to go next is if you have what the Shadow Legion has, which is the medallions that they carry that will bear the Night Mother's insignia. With that, you can go. It's like, uh, I'm assuming you can go wherever. So, who is the Night Mother? Oh, we're going to consider it my. The vampire, or is she. I know that she's responsible for the creation of the vampires, but I'm not sure who mm-hmm. she is. That gives me more of a feeling. So how do we find these guys? I mean, they come every a few days to give us supplies, but the thing is, if we attack them while they're here and the vampires are not dealt with, um, they have at least a few thousand vampire spawn in the city that will literally tear us limb from limb before we can even make our first attack on the knights. Bart, have you been anywhere else outside of this city? I've not. This is this is all theoretical. How do, they, how do they come and go? With the medallion that they have. So if we have that per se medallion, then it is the possibility we might be able to travel throughout the Shadowfell? I believe you only need one. And that's where I, I'm giving you this information freely because I want to you save this city. You need one medallion. There's three every time. Then come. You give me at least one and I start taking people out of this wretched place. And, and try to save as many as I can and get them to uh, relative safety. Are these the only knights in the city? These three? They So they always come in threes? They came, they went up back through the portal, and every few days they come with uh, supplies, so they take a memory or something from them. 
and then they go back up. So, do the vampires protect them? Is what you're getting at? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have a relationship, the yeah. knights and the vampires? The, van- the, the knights are related. The Shadow Legion is related to the Night Mother, and the Night Mother, uh, not knowing who she is, but gave birth to the, uh, the vampires. Uh, most, I assume not all, since you found one that apparently was not about that life, but uh, most owe her, her their allegiance. Well, how do we catch them unawares? We gotta kill the vampires. We gotta kill the vampires. The lords. Well, I mean, well, sorry, it's, it's a little funny. You've been here less than 24 hours, and I was made aware of your presence without actually meeting you because one of you already royally pissed off one of the vampires. Yep, yep. So uh-huh. uh, you know where that one uh, lies. That's with me. Uh, the other, the uh, Victor, uh, he's probably the most challenging, lies in the fortress. And uh, then you have Drusilla, who is just one crazy I would not go down that road believe me I've tried it <laughs> failed miserably and also scarily I was a I'm survived barely but Drusilla the crazed uh, she makes her home in the temple hmm. I'd say we take out the easiest one first which is the fat one what about you guys we gotta come up with a plan I mean yes but we gotta come up with a plan I got a plan we have three Bust days the door down stag, stake him end of story if this is the plan, we want to do this and try and save the next person or group of people, then we have three days to do this. All right. And there was four big uh, areas in the town. So you got the castle. It's uh, He tells you it's called the Deathless Palace. The temple is called the Fane of Night. This is the she's inn. In, she's You're in the temple, all right. Yeah. This is the inn. Uh, the Sanguine Lounge, which is the place you went to, is not... The, I'm sorry, what was the temple's name? The, the Fane of Night. Uh, and this building is another big building that has yet to be determined. What was the castle's name? Deathless Palace. <laughs> then you're, this is the inn that you're in, or that you guys have stayed in, you're in there now. Mm-hmm. Alright, alright. We're willing to do this job and take out these vampires. And we're actually the group that will do it, too, because we're pretty badass. Mm. And we got into a shadow foe without no one really knowing how. So what I need from you is information on, per se, Obadiah, Jebediah. How would we begin to even think about killing off these elder vampires? And is it even possible to kill off these these elder vampires in the Shadowfell. So, they took power recently, actually. Before this is a, a, a vampire named Strahd ruled here. Um, no one knows for certain what happened to him, but he just, uh, the people who were closest to him said he's just ceased to be. I don't, I don't know what that means, but if you die as a vampire here, you die, die, like you go to hell. So I'm assuming uh, there's no, I know, I, I studied a little bit as a pirate on the, on the, the prime material plane, and there's no staking once they're dead and then they're not dead and you have to go burn the casket or whatever and they can regenerate. There's none of that. Uh, you just kill them, they're dead. Okay. What happened to Straw? Okay, so, uh, my father, his father, uh. father, brother, father, <laughs> slash God, <laughs> slash God, and his father, pointed Ari, they went and defeated Straw in the, um, Earthly plane in Terra. Oh, I, uh, so funny. Uh, I've heard it both ways. Strahd came here after all that. So when a vampire dies in, in our world, uh, he comes here. So he was here for quite a time and then uh, just vanished. Not sure why. 
That gives me more patties. <laughs> but that's when these three appeared one night and they took over. Is there anybody that you know that was closest to him? That would know any information about him? Per se, Strahd. And there's, there's some advisors who, I know that, let, let me boil this down. Strahd had spawn once he was here. Um, they all vanished too. So the running theory here is that Strahd died. died. Gotcha. So he's in like hell like any other mortal would when they died. Except for me, apparently. And he like does a little <laughs> yeah. flourish. Does the name Lord Ember mean anything to you? And you got that. Hard to say. Because he actually died during the ship burnings. Like that's what he was talking about. So he has no knowledge of Lord Ember. Yeah, that's why telling him that the entire fleet was wrecked. I would uh, hurry since uh, he knows of your your acquaintance oh, we are existence. In, we are in so much there you go. Thank you. What's that? Uh... All right, fellas. <laughs> let's, let's think about it. What do we know? We can kill a vampire. Check. We know. What do you know of him when you talk can to we, him? Can we when kill this vampire? That's the question. He's fat. And apparently he's been around forever, so that's right. what I know. I have a question. Did he beat you bad enough that you ran away from him, or did you just steal and run? A uh, little of both. Okay. Roll an inside <laughs> check. <laughs> so he's pretty powerful, because anybody who can best you is somebody who's pretty powerful. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, he's awful fat, though. What about but together? was there anything that you did? That maybe we could use it as an advantage. I think yeah, he had a temper. Yeah, like does he have telekinesis? Is he a, does he have telekinesis? See you. Um, he does have telekinesis, but he could not see me when I was invisible. Um, and he couldn't hear you. No, I think he's too fat. He's too too much blood sucking. So too consumed about eating. Yes. Mm. What was he Though eating? I can only make a couple of us invisible. Was he and eating? Then that's all I could do. Was he eating a body? No, he was slurping on blood. Like in bags? Like in tubes. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever seen Game of Thrones, The Red Wedding? You're the only one who's been to <laughs> the third dimension. I'm staying a little. Or maybe Snow White and the apple. I'm saying a little poison here. It might be a long way. You are that is too very smart. smart bro. <laughs> <laughs> little poison in a bag. Slurpy it's slurp. perfect. Night, night. That no one will ever see it coming. Okay, let's think That's about genius. it. genius. What kills a vampire? What can kill vampires? We know from Strahd, your weapon. Yeah. What's key to it? Oh, uh, the radiance of yeah, my weapon the radiance. is the key. What else? Silver? I know that's part of it. What else? Sunlight? Hence, there's no sunlight here. Radiance. What's your sun blade? Radiance? Uh, if we could put silver in a bag? I don't know if like I can poison? bottle the radiance of dawn. <laughs> I can hit it with a bunch of your mama jokes. Your mom is so fat. He did have a rather short temper. Do you have a do you do you have a cleric with you? A chance? A what? Nope, we left him at home. <laughs> no, we didn't. So, he said what? A cleric. So no one could uh maybe make uh, his blood holy that he's gonna sit from. No, we no. left that guy at home, which I said we should take him with us. <laughs> And then Drago kind of looks at Eowyn. Shake him off. Eowyn has a DM. Yeah, move the world. What do you think? As a DM, I'll say, like, you don't know for sure, but you don't not know for sure. Yeah. Like, depending on what you do 
do, like, you could maybe do it. I'm looking for a spell. <laughs> no, it's not like a spell, it's just like your nature. So, like, maybe I would. Mm, okay. Like, it, it could mm. be an alternative. That's dope. That so, that dope. would be a way we could poison him. How would that work, Ty? You'd have to uh, gain access to the barrels and that he drinks from, and then it's not something where it's just like, you know, like Drago would be able to tell you, it's not gonna make him die, but it'll make him really sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, I may be able to do that. Well, I, I can make you invisible. I'll give you ten minutes to go in and. Oh, we gotta find this. We gotta find this blood supply first. Well, the I don't want to waste. The club so, is not is not hard to navigate. I know, but you're not going back in there. What, what are we looking for? We're, We're trying to, kill to kill Jebediah by poisoning him and his blood. We found out that the way we could do that, possibly, is Eowyn right. has the ability to because maybe... I'm spawn of Valerian, I may have a little paladin in, in me that I might be able to pretty much... Pure bless blood. the blood. Bless yeah. the blood. I could make it holy blood, not make holy it holy water. blood. It would weaken him just enough to where we could slit his throat or his fat belly, whatever you want. I don't care. Bart, have you any knowledge of where that, where those, where the blood might be? So be held in that place. I'm not gonna talk as Bart here because Bart could have told you that, but Winston's already gone through that whole area. Uh, so like he's seen oh so he's bar, already seen it and um, he's seen like that there's like a behind the bar type area uh like a little swinging kitchen door yeah, yeah, type yeah. thing but not like that uh, but there's definitely a, a spot back there yeah. like okay. it could be assumed so now we just that. need to figure out how to get up there get through uh, there that's it. And make, 10 minutes and Winston can make me invisible for 10 minutes that's more than enough time for me to get in there and try to do that. Uh, Winston, okay. did you uh, did you recount the whole story of what happened with you and the the vampire? Me and everyone else here. Most of it. Did you didn't recount the, the, the two holes that are in the upstairs area at the moment from your little bathroom? No. <laughs> um. Also, forgot to tell them that we could go up there. Um, but the supply is downstairs, right? Yeah, but if they're talking about how to get up there, oh, like yeah. after. Yeah. yeah. So if we figure out, so I can get in, I can, I can walk through the front door, invisible. We can go through the bedroom, invisible. I can just do that, come back out the front door, come on the side, climb up the wall. If I'm still invisible, I can climb up the wall and meet you guys back up there. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And then just maybe wait a little bit and hope. Listen, because of your blade, that's the best thing we're gonna use to kill him. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You gotta so as soon this. as you pull, it, as soon as you bless him, we're gonna have to draw our weapons it may and not stab hit. the crap out of him. Well, that's just it. It may not hit right away. It may not hit him until. Why don't we try to conceal our weapons, and Isaiah take us there as gifts. We're gonna go invisible, Jesse. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. If uh, you, you, your that, face that, cannot go in there. I believe your but friend kind of. Maybe you doesn't have to go in there. Yeah. But as an apology. Yeah, what? as an apology, as a uh, a sacrificial apology. Yes. What if you brought a werewolf? Fresh blood. Yes, fresh werewolf blood. You might go for it. And while you're doing that, I'm sneaking into the back. Blessing the blood. Distraction. We have a little distraction, a little cat and mouse going on. I make a scene. Yeah, I kind of like it. This is a good thing. Bam! We got it. I like it. It's, it's coming again, Ari, boys. You down with it? Isn't that what I said to do, though? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Sweet. Then that is the plan. Uh, why don't we first head back and take a little rest 
Or right, actually, we can just stay no. here and rest. Excuse me, I'm sorry. The other one that needs to rest is Winston. That's not point. I only need four hours. No, I know. And I can work on trying to get into that radiant side of myself. Okay. How do you want to play that? Like, how do you want to? I'll tell you. No. Okay. okay. That's what I was curious about. I'm yeah. like, that's cool. I mean, it makes sense being Valerian's mm. can't offspring or correct production. Uh, yeah. So Isaiah, <laughs> Winston can take a rest. Are you guys? What are you guys doing during this time? I, Everybody I, else. I told you I'm with you. Yeah. And that'll be remind remembered. Well, You'll have I'm an gonna, advantage on whatever. I'm gonna go to the pub, get some ale, bring them out, sit with bar. Shoot the breeze about the sea princess. Talk to him a little bit. Okay. We're gonna drink some ale together. Smoke some. Smoke Argus, some what are you doing? No yet. I'm uh. I don't know what to do. I just uh, I really don't. I don't think we would be able to run around this place. You can play a song. Definitely not without causing attention. Mm -hmm. There's already some. Yeah, there's a oh, yeah. You can play a song, Ari. Yeah. Or uh, talk to Bart with our uh, Drago. I want to try to learn a, as much as I can about these. Uh, Elder vampires from the people in here. Are you gonna go back to the undead and welcome pub? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you got. You can roll me a persuasion check, Dad. Are you grabbing the beers and coming back to Bart's house? Is that what you're doing? Who me? Isn't it like close? Pretty close, but Bart's gonna stay like at his house. He's not gonna. Yeah, he can't I'll go get the, in. I'll get the ales and I'll bring it back. He can't go in there. Okay. Yeah. What am I rolling? That's my treat to him because he can't go in there. Persuasion check from your dad. Okay. Argus needs to. Let me shrink this. No, I'm holding. I'm holding four mug. Doing each time. Walking down the trailer. There you go. Uh, Twenty-one. All right. So throughout your time, you uh, you realize that uh, I love Dope. the night mother uh, from the dawn of time of the Shadowfell time at some like the inner circle of whoever she brought with her to the Shadowfell. Uh huh. Originally, those are the people that became the first elder vampires. So like you're able to glean that knowledge from the townsfolk. All right. All right. And drag a roll in a perception check with advantage for me. As you guys are like Ooh. in this in Bart's point. house. All right. So you're sniffing and you smell uh, a mixture of like what Winston kind of smells like and, and wet dog and like a few other creatures intermixed that you can feel running up and down the street sniffing around and like searching different areas. Bart, do you have any dogs in this house? There's a funny. I know what dogs uh, what uh, dogs are, but uh, there's no dogs in the shadow field, my friend. Well, um, that's kind of funny because I'm smelling something like a dog. It's outside. It smells like some wet creature outside, sniffing around. Mm -hmm. Immediately, does he have windows? Yeah, but they're boarded up. Well, but you can look through a crack. So. Cracks. Is there any way that I can look out? You can look through cracks, but like it's boarded up because Bart does like he's like uh, prepared for the worst kind of deed. Yeah. yeah. So can I kind of look out the crack and see if I see something? Yeah. So like it is still like it's not night or day, but it's what what you see outside is a mixture between like you've seen some undead vampire spawn look. 
more undead than not that are the spawn of vampires. But you, it's kind of mixed with some kind of beast of some sort. It makes it look more. Not, I don't want to go with like werewolf. It doesn't look werewolf at all. But it does have fur in some spots. But it looks like that fur is rotting off. And it looks like there's like a hook on one arm. And like there's like a, a giant hoof like foot that it has on another. Like something was a monstrosity that it was like created. They're all hunting for something. And that's what you see when you look at the window. Crap! Guys! Frankenstein's trying to make the <laughs> Guys! Uh, we're in trouble. There's a search party outside, and they're looking for us. How do you know they're looking for us? Well, because our brother stole some three rocks from an elder vampire. You think he's gonna let that go? Not at all, but... We should, we should uh, probably uh, try to get this done quick. I don't know how many times we can try to lick our wounds in between fighting each of these Is Argus still at the pub? Uh, he is. <laughs> but they are not going towards the pub at the moment. Well, he's saving the pub, too. But these, they don't find you. And you just see them searching, so you know there's, there's a, a sense of urgency well, as there. Drago's super smart, and he sees it. He knows what a search party looks like, and it's a crimson order, mm. and he's a warrior, and he knows what tracking looks like because he's a tracker. He's going to put all that together, knowing what happened today. He knows that that guy's not going to let that stuff slide, so more than likely, they're searching for Winston. Are you talking to the Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I would say, if you talk to uh, Bart, uh, yeah. and Bart is like, uh, the, the elder vampires don't take a slight to their their respect lying down, and whatever those creatures are that I've, I've not actually run into before, which is odd, um, it seems that the devourer has spoken to his brethren about you all, so... But now I guess, like everybody, like there's nothing that happens during the rest, but you kind of know that this is like, this is not something you want to do very often and these things will catch up with you. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys have short rested and you're ready to prepare for your advent your adventure. We're going on a right. trip with our favorite. Let's do this, fellas. We got to move. Skeleton Bart. <laughs> Their favorite skeleton Bart. <laughs> hey, when you were in the when you were in the bathroom, you didn't realize, you didn't know, but there was a search party that was out, and mm, it heard. was like a vampire mixed was like a minotaur bull looking thing, like a, a hook for an arm. Yeah, did oh, he find us? What happened? I just thought about it. Do you think that's like Drusilla's creations? Yeah, she was the crazy that could be one. one of his. That's what they said. They said she was the crazy one that like that, that tortured, kidnapped, experiment, 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 yeah. experiment people. And, and the yeah. other thing, the other thing that Bart told us was is that because of what he did, um, they definitely do not. They are uh, not happy with yeah, you, Winston. and, and they not probably, just the devourer. All of them, all three of them, are really unhappy with Winston. <laughs> and yeah. and and they already talked. All three of them already talked about. Him. Like, Oh, yeah? Bart yeah. knew about us yeah. before we met him because of what happened. They put two and two together, kind of figuring out like, <laughs> like while they were up here, they yeah. like chatted, and like now they're all on the lookout for you all. All of us? Uh, they don't know about all of you, but they know that there's. Because I was invisible, right? Like they didn't see me with them. Well, the they're in or charge of one everything. Of them, one of them has true sight. They're in charge of the town and yeah. all aspects of the town. Which means that the ghoul at the front gate, who saw y'all come in together, mm. also knows. Uh, Eventually, so he, he where narked you get on back? us. Yeah. yeah. He so narked on us. Uh. Yeah. And like, this is something you guys would know. Yeah. Like, you guys as people would know. So, right. like, based on Slit everybody's throat in the whole town. Kill him. Yeah. Right. We gotta Kill find him. a way <laughs> to make it back down the street. Yeah. Go get Ari. Turn me in and get this, get this job done. He's back. They, 
Oh, Argus is back? Yeah, they only Sweet. were out for like a period of the okay. time. Right, right. Let's um, what, do this. We know the, the plan. plan. We're going in. You're going to take them as a sacrifice. You're going to turn the, me invisible. I'm now gonna that we know they're searching for me, do you think that's a good idea still? Well, because what originally, you say is correct, and what Bart is saying is, is more important is that respect is held to a very high standard. And I feel like if you walk in there with not just two warm bodies, but two warm bodies and a werewolf, as like a, hey, my bad, I'm dumb, I'm sorry, and, and bring the dispelling stones back and like show them. Don't give them up, but they're like, hey, my bad, I apologize, I need to brew, 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 right? I feel like we might have a chance. Or, there's a chance. <laughs> so you, or what's going to happen is they're going to take you prisoner while I'm doing yes. that, and we just hope to God it works fast enough if that by the time three, I get to you... If they're all three there, I think we're screwed. If they're all three there, we are in trouble. So we should probably do some scouting. That's a good but the, idea. But the thing is, if we scouting. kill Wait a minute. if we kill one of them, Wait a minute. the other two are going to be impossible to kill. Why don't you give me the stones? You let me walk in there, and I say I killed you. Right? Wait a minute. And I took the stones from you, and I'm bringing them back as tribute. Right. But you're a werewolf. Hey, can you smell that he's a werewolf? Is that how vampires work? Because I don't know. I have no idea. Like, can you smell that he's a vampire? Yes, absolutely. Because I just know he's a werewolf from the time he tried to kill you in the boat, and yeah, I just stopped him. Yeah, but your smell has definitely changed since you turned into. Yeah, this. yeah. Know? Like I, so yeah. they werewolves have a distinct smell, right? Yeah. Okay. But so, they, yeah. I mean, like the people here have not spent time in our world so like they don't know what werewolves are but the vampires but what about the, I mean, elder vampires the elder vampires as far as you've known are have spent their life here too oh so it's not like a hate it's a we they have no idea what a werewolf is yeah mm -hmm. i misunderstood that I'm because sorry. vampires were born here and yeah like no, no, no. only strahd pretty much only strahd's the only one besides what's the dude's name that we had um, uh, yeah, it was something ridiculous. It was something. <laughs> hey, no, no, I have or another question or something. But he—he's the only other one that you know that was in this world ever. <laughs> was Winston, Fred. Fred, can you grow something your limbs like back? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe a hand or a finger would help, but that's okay. We don't need it. <laughs> His eyes. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Oh, like uh, it was too soon. <laughs> too soon, Harold. Uh, uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, What's it? Bart, what do you think? I don't know if you going in there is going to work. I think invisibility is the best play. Bart, what do you think? You've been around, you've been in the city longer than any of us. Really. Never. Like, you think if I walk in there with his stones? As a, I killed this vampire that slided you. Is that going to get under... I think that uh, for, or... for Jedediah's sake of my friends, I think that if the the vampire that he mortally, like almost wounded, comes crawling back to him and uh, offers apologies and asks uh, for his forgiveness and gives him three uh, great uh, bloody meat sacks for him to suck on, uh, that go over more than if uh, he just was like, hey, I killed this person who showed up yesterday and called you a, a biatch. All right. Yeah. You know. Sounds like a plan. That's kind of what okay. I was thinking. Sounds like a plan. Bart, I'm glad I asked you what you're, what you're thinking. Man. All right, chain me up, old master. Just don't make the binds too tight. And, all right, yes, <laughs> and Steve. And then turn me yes. invisible so we can go get this done. Right. You, you uh, want me to go with you then uh, on this? Yep, you're a blood Absolutely. bag. Here we go, come on. Yes. Okay, yeah. Bart, you're part of this crew now. I'm all up with leather. <laughs> Alright, you know, and also I'm pretty sure Argus is asleep because my dad's been in the hospital for like a, most of the day. <laughs> so Argus actually, if we're going to play like this, then since uh, Argus cannot, like he sees said search party, like all throughout, like 
to get unwelcome in, like the outside, and he cannot get back to you all. So you're able to like start the first part. Suggest that he was like just stuck, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Stuck in the pub. Yeah. This could be rough without. Kind of, kind of keeping it low key. Yeah. It is actually going to be really this rough. This is going to be rough. Without <laughs> yeah. Defend this from that. Or yeah. Elias, the Galarian. All we gotta do is just poison this dude. We have junior captain. Yeah, that, like, that's literally all we need, yeah, that, right? Like, I'm, uh, he's here, like the here captain here America. <laughs> I'm here to serve, so uh, we need whatever we, you need. And this this guy Bart. Bart, that's true. Bart's, Bart's, like, like, Bart's like, yeah, I'm really excited. Listen, to take on an elder, he's here, like, yeah, he's here. Bart and me are kind of kin here because Bart's. Yeah, I can friend. see it, skeleton. Moron. You can see the family resemblance, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh and yeah. he puts his face very uncomfortably close. <laughs> Drago just looks at him. No, Drago you... just puts his hand up like right in between, <laughs> like this, and goes, it's a little close. A little close for God. Do you know you... <laughs> any spells, or do you have any trinkets that might, uh, are made of silver? As, as you're sitting there, hanging slides. I haven't I still have all of that written down. I know exactly what I have and what I don't have out of that little mischief kit that I got. I got the little smoke the little bombs. Ridiculous I, got the, I got the yep, I got it all. I just slid a mouth. I just slid a mousetrap underneath Drago. He doesn't know. So he pulls out like three different things. Junior Captain does like some syringes that give you like certain things uh, that aren't really applicable here except for healing. And then he gives you like he pulls out some things that are like that's for water breathing. Uh, that's for water breathing. Uh, that's for water breathing. And uh, oh, this one. This one is so you don't die of hunger. <laughs> so, oh, and uh. This one makes you light as a feather. I thought after last time, you know. Yes. <laughs> I figured Smart I'd keep that one, Captain. <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything made of silver, though? All right. I do not. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't. Okay. I think we're going to be okay as long as you've got the sunblade. I have the power! <laughs> I should hope so. Um, one little slice in that little butter, butter rum Pillsbury Doughboy. We're going to be all right. You All need right. it. I've got it. The Slicer Dicer 2000. <laughs> Let's do it then. Let's do it. All right. All right. So Take us to your leader. The Plazan. Y'all are going in. Uh, well, you're taking two blood bags now. I know. It's all good. Bag. bag of bones. There it is. Full circle. And uh, I'm going in biz. And I'm going to go poison the blood supply. All right. So you're here. This junior, this junior you know, captain. You know, I just know. Yep. Vampires in Africa. Well, vampires are, they get hurt by holy so water. So there's going to be sex. In Africa. And A1's going to sneak <laughs> into the kitchen. It's going to take a lot. Over here. <laughs> yeah. So you're here. At the entrance, right? Which, That's my favorite joke. I want to yeah. sell it to a vampire. We're going, I'm going to share it at the top, right? I want to be like... I put it in the Can dirt. I so I up with people. Change the dope no, but didn't I get in this call? No, so I, I took the tentacles once. But they can climb. Can climb. <laughs> so Is that sketch? Sketch? Okay. They, it's no, I feel like we're on that kind of. Uh, me and him are on that level. They bust, they bust cool. the rain down the so, like, are you gonna go inside and try to go up and apologize, or are you just gonna go up the window? Like, that's what I didn't know. Yeah, probably just go up the window. Okay. So. Which part y'all want to do first? Uh, the Aowen part or... We'll probably do me first, right? Alright. So, so we're, we're all going in together. It's the, yeah, same, it's the same, same time. time. So I think we should roleplay ours first. That way it's like... In the meantime. Aowen has oh, been okay. downstairs. Okay. I like that. You know. yeah, yeah. So I'll be invisible like before we walk up to the door, but it's like a minute before, right? So, yes. I have to, so I have to use now. my... Uh, and use invisibility because I need to do it before we're in combat. That's the only way. I, like in combat, it would take so many turns to do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're to... not in combat right now. No. Yeah, yeah. As, this as, is strategy. As we're walking uh, towards the area, Winston 
uh, Drago gives you a, a little vampire joke. Are you ready? It's, it's Why do you wear for extra target? Winston, you ready for this vampire joke? Yeah. Why do werewolves eat better than vampires? Why is that? Because werewolves actually eat their prey, and vampires suck. It was funny, I bought. <laughs> Wait, are you doing uh, invisibility for everyone? I oh, no, it's just up. him, right? I just made the joke up. That's actually mine. If you have it, cannon. I don't need to do it. I think I have invisibility. What kind of cannon? I have oh, greater okay. invisibility. Oh, sorry, sorry. You okay? I have greater invisibility. Go ahead, then. Yeah. Yeah, well, what are we doing? <laughs> How long is it? Oh, mine is only regular. So mine only lasts up to a minute. Yeah, it's but concentration but like the, the difference between greater invisibility and regular is that yeah, mine's up to an do, hour. You can do a ton of like you can do actions and not become visible. You can it's attack and yes. not become visible. Yeah, but you can use that in combat and still be invisible. As soon as anybody does anything with regular invisibility, even invisible. Even interactions? Mm -hmm. So, like, pours the silver into the blood bag? Yeah. But how would this... He would become visible. But it's only, it's only a minute. Oh, because as soon as I grab the things, I would... So how would that work, though? Because in combat, that's six, ten turns. Or not in combat. Because yeah. it'll have more than a minute to get through everybody and do all that. Or, or I can, like cast, than I can cast invisibility on you. Regular invisibility for up to an hour. You can cast greater right before you do the actions. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That way well, you th stay. That's invisible. what I was asking. Cause like that makes yeah. way more sense. An hour of invisibility, and then but this, this is, is only a minute. But this is like I just need your invisibility to get to where I'm going. Then yes. I can cast greater invisibility. Then I can do this. So right. I can leave. Right. Yeah. Okay. That works. Okay. Plan. Sorry. I just was looking. I was trying to correlate how that made so, sense to use level. greater because, but I understand that. Though. Did you give them a rundown of how like everything was at the place? Yeah, I would have told them. Okay, so then there's, he saw like 10 spawn throughout this thing. And there's zombie bartenders, so like once you get back there, they shouldn't really notice you. You know, like they're zombies, so you should be good. Um, Alright, so we're going to go through them first, Okay. and then we'll go through what I'm doing. Alright, so I... Touch you and give you invisibility. Appreciate it. Alright. So the way we're doing concentrations is that I can't... I can cast other spells, but not other concentration spells. Which is how it is. Normally... Is that really how it is? Yeah. Okay, cool. I felt like... I feel like... It's cheating. Like, when he was, like, flying, I was like, Man, I'm letting him fly while I'm over here casting lightning bolts. Like... Mm -hmm. You know, like... And that's... Well, you are supposed to take, like... You're supposed to make a concentration check every time you take damage. Yeah. Okay. But it's really easy to make it normally. Okay. So like that's no, I'm good. I appreciate it. My belly was... Alright. That's cool. Yeah, I got weird. That's, that's actually cool. So you guys are climbing up the side, correct? Right? Yes. With him? Yes. Alright, Drago, maybe an athletic Drop check. Or can, no, I can't, like, like miss you set with him ass. with me, can I? Oh, would it be a strength check? Pull it up. Would or would I just like be like a dimension or, or spell? Spell. Yeah, which I chose the tentacle one instead of that. I mean, I got 15. Dude, you rolled with disadvantage. You had. With disadvantage? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Because what's happening oh, is no. Steve doesn't trust himself and he's like around your neck and he's gonna hold on to you. Roll with this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> roll a freaking 18. 14 okay. plus uh, 8. Uh, so it's disadvantage, so you take the other one. Take the 15, but that's more than enough to get up there yeah. with Steve on your back. Oh, so wait, Steve, yeah. Because Steve's a halfling, right? No, he's normal. He's human, but Drago's a monster. Right? I get up with my wear. Well, it's only wear. No, it's also in human form, right? The Where, athletics? Stuff? No, I get the, uh, I get the extra... Um, I can jump higher and like 10 more feet and jump all that higher. stuff. Run faster. Mm -hmm. yeah. You like mine. But, but you did it. <laughs> all right, even with uh, with Steve on your back, okay? So 
So Ooh. now you all are up. Dude, I'm a beast. I was carrying Steve on to this. Dope. You're up in this room. There's... Loose scrawny though, right? Four vampires spawned in this room. Like a strong board. There's four vampires spawned in this room as you jump through this doorway with him in this room. Are you guys all invisible too? No, we're not, we're not invisible. invisible. <laughs> and then once again, I say... Wait, I thought you guys were bringing us in as meat bags. I thought we were going in the front door, so I missed that part of the plan of saying... You're, you're an offering. Fresh offering, fresh But you bag. snuck in, the, you came in yeah. through the hole, not the door. Okay, okay I'm with you. Okay, crap. Hello there. <laughs> what? Why did you come back here? Well, Why? hey, you know, I think we got off on the wrong fat foot. Um, I, I brought you some gifts. These are some of my own personal um, humans. I don't really know how that works, but I've started to collect some. Um, here they are. And I give them to you as a as an apology. You puss bucket. I can't believe you're selling us out. You shut your mouth. Oh, no. You are a gift and nothing else. I don't want to die. You will be the sauce upon which this he's This is the drinks. worst thing ever. All right, he rolled. And he smells. And he says, one of them smells tainted. Tainted? And he looks at the one that's talking. The crowd is like, hey, you tainted, boy? I take the bench to that. And roll a persuasion and check for me. His name is Boneclaw, and it made me laugh because Boneclaw is ready. <laughs> yep. I just watched that movie that day. every time. It's such Roll high, good. roll high, buddy. You want to roll the big dice? You want to roll the big gun? Yeah, can I roll the big dice? <laughs> yeah, you can roll the big dice. He rolled okay. a 21. You roll a 21. That's, that's with a plus 8, bro. <laughs> it's a, a little bit better. It's 23. Yeah. <laughs> you, sir, you are a mistake. I have a lot on our, our royal elder blood, but I will accept your offering. Now go. Uh, he beckons for your sacrifice to come forward, and so, like, these uh, groupings oh come back and, like, start to bring. Uh, Steve and Drago up to you. Jedediah the Devourer. Oh no! Alright, uh, I'm Aylin, getting pulled in. Before anything starts. <laughs> as they're, uh, you know, they're grabbing them, carrying them up to them. Winston turns like he's gonna go back up the thing and goes invisible. Okay. So you just can switch. Da, 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 da. Yep. Hey, 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 eat yep. Steve first, eat him first. He's definitely, definitely full of uh, nutrients and fiber and uh, raised meat. You don't want to eat us. I swallow <laughs> silver. Oh, I swallow God. silver for, for, uh, for, uh, I, I ate garlic the other Roll day. Roll deception check, <laughs> Dude, you went full John Cena. <laughs> 17! Minus one. Minus one, one sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen to two. You smell that fart? Your, your smell, uh, it checks out. Uh, bring the little one forward. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as this is happening. Sorry, Steve, that's personal. Uh, meanwhile, as we said, uh, hey, we're going to go ahead and roll two stealth checks with, the dis- with advantage. Oh, as yeah. You go in, and you're probably a little... Uh, you've weathered enough of this storm of the Shadowfell to like see all these people sucking blood and dancing and dropping. Uh, but... It's Those like, are practice rolls. You just need to roll the actual roll. It's kind of making you want to a little bit. Ten. Total with no with the cell check. With the advantage, I rolled a 10. The first one was a 3, second one's a 6, plus 4. It's 10. Okay. Screw you, dice, and return your ass. Alright, so you are you are able to get back there. Because, well, actually, it's <laughs> zombies. <laughs> Fitting, right? Yeah. Zombie rolled it to you. Okay. Zombies <laughs> rolled it to you. Alright. Minus one. Yeah. I figured I should roll it to make it fair. So they're, fair. they're not... The vampire spawn that are all throughout... They're like buffing and grinding and like feeding on different uh, not focused on groups. They're not focused on you, but yeah. the zombies were the only ones that you had to feed. 
hard mess it up. So you slip behind the bar, and like behind the bar, there's some barrels that there's tubes that are going up uh, that uh, lead to the upper level, as you can see. Okay. They, they, and you can roll now. This will be an Arcana check. Well, I'm gonna, advantage. I'm gonna cast greater invisibility first. Okay, go ahead and do that. So, greater invisibility for the next minute. Now I'm gonna roll our photo. Oh, no. uh, even or odds? Uh, even. All right. So for a split second, you're able. You turn back as you start to turn invisible again with greater invisibility because Winston cast invisibility on a different group, mm -hmm. but not so much that the zombies that are behind the uh, bar actually noticed. <gasps> Alright, so I'm rolling Arcana. Should be able to get this one. Luckily, we get advantage because. What was that one? A 1. Uh, that's 16 plus 12. Roll a 28. Roll 28. Alright, so you, you feel some mumbo jumbo coming out of your hand, but you're not sure what's going out of your hand. And uh, you've, you've done whatever you can do, and now you can run up. Okay. So you're gonna come in. If you're just gonna run there, are you gonna, is that? Uh, I'm going back out the front door, and then up to the side to go through because okay. I can't get through the guards that are standing. Right yeah. So, so second, second round, you should be. Would I know you? Would I know he's close? I'm not. I. I at this Do point, you know I'm based on your plan that he's gonna be up there pretty soon. All right. But now we can roll uh, some initiative. initiative to see what actually happens. You guys want me to roll a guy at plus eight? Yes, sir. My initiative is still garbage. Go ahead. So my armor class, finally. Plus, Winston will be waiting for you. Er, my dude! Plus, we'll sneak attack. What'd you do? He rolled a two! <laughs> what a thing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay, now I'm just curious. I'm, hey. I didn't count for anything. Do you have a stop lift? I'm gonna do the slot. Like, how do I have the highest initiative to roll a two? You rolled way better than I did. Straight up, I have a plus zero on my initiative. Zero. Plus zero. And I have four. Plus eight. Plus seven one. Plus eight. Plus eight. Plus seven one. 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 So you rolled an 8, correct? Nine. I rolled an 8 plus 2, which is 10. Now I rolled a 2. So your team gets to roll, and you better beat it in, buddy. Alright, you rolled at 24. So. Yeah, oh yeah, they're going first. He got the power! <laughs> so Winston is, is invisible, but what's going on? And unless... I mean, Steve is going to take the first initial attack of this. Yeah, no, I'm going to... Uh... We still role play a little bit. I mean, could I start it off? Like, that's what my goal was. Was like, once I was invisible, well, we're gonna, gonna have to wait for our turn. But I'm gonna at least try to take the blow up. And my plan is to get close to him now. And I know that the I think works. Steve's already on his way up there, and you were pretending to be out of the room as they attacked. So, yeah. Well, just uh, so they're gonna take eating. one attack. Oh, we die. <laughs> Glory, glory, what a way to die! Glory, what a way to die! So, you'll find it. <laughs> Alright, so what's going down is uh, these two are dragging uh, Steve, kicking and streaming to this, uh, the Jedediah the Destroyer. And Jedediah opens his maul that's with like in his belly and he's going to clamp down on Steve's neck and Steve is like being drained and he is at he's taking 14 points of damage and this is straight up from D&D &D Beyond Steve has 15 points of health so right now uh, that's what he's at even after his level up yes man touch this up Steve <laughs> glory yeah. glory, glory. <laughs> no way to die <laughs> 
just saying. And the the two here, they're they don't think you're in combat yet. So they're <laughs> for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, go ahead and make a strength check with disadvantage, Drago. That's a, that's a bad boy. Bad boy. Yeah, Winston will be going as soon as he sees okay. Steve getting like 15? in trouble too. Nope, just kidding. Seventeen there and uh, sixteen there. Okay, fifteen and fifteen. Seventeen and sixteen. Seventeen and fifteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. What's the first roll? Fifteen. So the tie goes to the defenders, so you're not restrained by these two, as together they try to grab you, and they're out at 16. So you're able to act as normal on your turn. Steve is currently like grappled here. Winston, you're like right by the edge of the room. There's one dude, and this dude's out of the way. All right, so there's that, and after this round is when A wins. So A wins like back up here. Surprise. But Winston is here, uh, Drago is there, and Steve is being eaten. Drago is going to look at both these vampires on the side and going to look like this. You got hey, fellas. Remember when he said my blood was tainted? I and mean, then at that moment, I whoop out and rip my, uh, rip my uh, vines, and I go, The only one that's going to be eaten is you! And I turn straight up werewolf. Okay. I didn't bring it, said we're well, buddy. That's okay. Because I assumed, or I didn't think we were asleep, but we found a way. But you can attack twice on. Oh, this is. That's why I have another beat here. This is the guy that's over here is. Uh, he's Bart. So that's this Bart. Is Bart. Ah. This is the other vampire that was trying to do. Hold on. <laughs> Bart, 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 Bart. And immediately after I get out, I'm going to run and jump off that guy. Makes sense. Makes sense. Right. So these two will try to attack you. That's easy to do. They take disadvantage, right? You know, it's like normal. But, I mean, you're at full health. But they're going to swipe at you as you run by. That's okay. Get, they get opportunities. Well, bro, right? back back yeah. from the so go ahead and roll back. two times to dodge. Time to that. 11. 7. And you're back in. Alright, so you're going to take. Eight points of damage as one After of we have killed it for the first two you. hours we played. <laughs> like, okay, this dice great. Mind. Only roll this All dice. Right. Retired. Yeah. I jump on this Rolls fat one guy. Bad Pull on right. wolf. Get it out of here. If I was humping him in the face, that's what it looks like. Alright, All right. you can roll two attacks then. Yeah. Don't, don't touch this. This is just for saves. So I just think it's like we need to scroll really good on. Not looking good. 13. And a 26. Right, second one will hit. But it's not, it's just your sword damage. Alright. Hey. Seventeen points of damage. Points of damage. As you stab, you're like you're like Ehud when he stabs into the king Eglon. In the book of judges. Yes! <laughs> and his fat butt. And, and your sword belly. starts to disappear. Because <laughs> it's like Java. <laughs> Does it, where did it go? Alright. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hold on, I need that. Uh, Steve is swinging wildly. Steve rolled a 16. Oh, I'm not sure what Steve gets as far as a plus. Uh, me stabbing the guy, couldn't it, and me on top of him, couldn't it get him to let him go? Yeah, that's why he's stabbing. So you uh, efficiently let him go. So you rolled a 16 minus 2, which actually in turn hits the big guy. <laughs> he rolled a 14 <laughs> altogether. <laughs> so Steve does 6 points of damage. He's like able to stab his longsword. <laughs> Right well, no, he doesn't have the long sword anymore. Remember, yeah. he's got that spear. He's got the spear. spear of... Oh yeah, he's yeah. got that equipped too. Space time continuum. Let's cutting see if it's any it better. I the breaker spear. The breaker spear. Yeah. Gotta be that thing's gotta better, be right? like bad to the bone pulling out that spear. And it's gotta be a little bit better than his long sword. <laughs> Winston, you can go. You're the only other person that's in the room for this. 
Um. Launch, uh, launch my spear at him. So you cast regular invisibility, correct? Yeah, so break right. Yeah. So yeah, throw my spear 20 to hit. That's good. Okay. He's, he's <laughs> not like, sense. he's it's obviously so very good. big and you can stab him very easily. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. You gotta look Check it. All right, he rolled. He did a six damage because the other one was bad. <laughs> Where is it? No. All right, eighteen. Uh, damage. Eighteen points of damage. Yeah. All right. But then my action surged. So you're attacking the big guy, right? Yep. All right. I'm launch my spear. 18 points of damage, and then as my spear hits him, I'm gonna whisper a discordant melody that only he can hear, racking him with terrible pain. All right. Wisdom save. Good, 22. Okay, I'm he playing. still takes damage, but he doesn't have to move. Okay. I mean, he's not gonna move. He's in the bed. Oh, uh, so after they attack, you're like the first in the room. Cool. Alright. So Winston's alive. Uh, I think that. I think that uh, Bart is going to shoot twice at the two that are fighting behind them, and they're gonna turn and attack. Uh, you threw a spear, Winston, and then you uh, are hurting their person, so they're going to turn and attack you. Steve is going to be able to stand up and be like a little confused and stab himself with one of his syringes and gain a, <laughs> a little health back from that. Dude, this is a clutch steal. Mm -hmm. I'll take her. her day. Day. I'll take her. Day. All right, uh, roll to dodge two times. Uh, Winston, uh, per person, that's on him. Two times each? Yeah. Four. Blue uh, for big guy, yellow for small guy. Got natural school. Blue over there? 20 and 12, 15 and 6. Alright, so the 12 is gonna get you hit T, but the 20 saves you from that. So the only one that's gonna actually attack you is oh, you're gonna take uh, 8 points from the claw attack. And then, uh, also, I was gonna say before that happened, I was gonna reaction spell shield. Okay, you should say that because they're adapting the same way. Because right. the six was still an eleven. Yeah, twenty. Because the twenty can no, the twelve. I will say this. All right. All right. The other one is uh, everyone in the room because you're all within thirty feet. Needs to make an intelligence saving throw. Eight points per. Intelligent. Yes. Steve has to roll at disadvantage. Because he's not intelligent. Betting the five is Steve's what you get. Really? Him. So he rolled a five and a natural twenty, but he has to take the five because he was <laughs> already with advantage. With disadvantage. Uh, with no, 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 just normal. <laughs> I got a six. I now I roll a six. Eighteen. I got a high intelligence and I roll a six. Oh, seventeen plus one. What did you get, Amon? I'm not in the room. You are now. Oh. Like right now. How does it happen? Intelligent. You're within 30 feet, you're in the room. You know. 21. Alright. Alright. So what's gonna happen is you can feel the vampire, the uh, uh, Jediah, intrude your mind. And as it explodes outward, uh, none of you get thrown from the room entirely, but uh, Winston, Steve, and Drago, Steve's down, take 28 points of damage. Uh, Eowyn, you're out of the room, you take 14 points of damage. And uh, 
of far too short to put the damage as well. But he... Wait, I think 28? Mm-hmm. But I'm still on top of him. Uh, so he like pretty much shoots you in the ceiling with like the, the lashback and you like rebound off. Wait, is this force damage? It's sucker. Okay. It just takes the fact that if you get blown. No, by yeah, yeah. I was just was curious because I'm resistant yeah. to force damage. That's but you it's your turn to start off because now you're in the room. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to run behind him to one of the uh, pipes that's feeding blood to him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut it and then spray him with the blood, like just all over. Okay. And Winston, you can relay this to everyone else, but you took significantly less damage overall, like, okay, with failing. In, like you did before, based on like something's already affecting you. Uh, okay. Alright. Roll a d20 for me. I'm over this freaking game. I rolled a one. A one? A one. Yeah, you rolled a one. Okay, so this doesn't tell you what you did, but you. The blood being sprayed on him does not do anything additionally that you notice, like as it's happening. Okay. But you're over here now. Now you have a bonus action left if you'd like. Yes, I'm going to cast, uh, or not cast, I'm going to do my. I'm going to play the song. Okay. Now you're at 18. Yes. Alright, everybody else can go. All right, so I'm, I'm, I come up the air, but can I come back down and flash back on him? Yeah, you're on him. All right, sweet. So you can like this time. Stuff. He's gonna get it. Because I'm using three attacks. Okay. Eighteen. Yeah. Twenty-one. 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 Yeah. Twenty-one. Yeah. Alright, so 18 and 22 is a hit. Bye! This is it with 11. Yeah. Okay. So I sliced him with my sword and clawed the crap out of his fat belly. Alright, so as you're slicing down on him, you can see that some of the wounds that were caused earlier are starting to like come back together. Like like some of the the external fluids that were leaking out of him have started to seep back in, like come back together as you all are fighting. Uh, you are stabbing and making me win. Alright, uh, I think our, uh, Winston is a little bit more. Alright. I'm gonna bonus action Misty step behind this guy and stab him with the spear as it, re as it reappears in my hands and stab him with the spear. How many tubes of blood are going to hit? Like a ton? Yeah, that's 20 to hit. I'm already cut one. A 20 to hit? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So I would say that I would keep him busy by staying on top of him. And then you guys try to cut the blood. Okay. But at the same time, too, like we wanted it. Because the blood was blessed. Yeah, but whatever I did didn't work, so. 21 piercing. No, the second part didn't work. He already looks weaker based on whoever 
somebody's observation. That's all. Yeah. The, um, because of the poison. But the spraying oh, part, because you rolled a natural one, yeah. does not do additional stuff to him. I was going to make him take damage if you rolled well. Yeah, no, I know. But the additional spraying did not. So, so now we need to. He takes 21 piercing. Okay. And I'm going to use a. Uh, I already used my bonus action this turn, so I'm just chill. All right. So Actually, yeah. I'll use my movement to bounce over here. All right, so the spear sinks in. Uh, like. And it just seems like it goes completely in, and he seems like he has taken this spear in, and he doesn't like it. He's cring- like cringing, but you don't see a lot of fluid coming out, and it like sinks in so far that you almost lose your spear. I just almost- I just leave it, and I run over there because it's gonna show back up the next turn. Because okay. oh, yeah, my magic like, belt, yeah. Yeah, 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 my magic belt shows back up in my hands. And Bard is taking on these two again. Uh, that's the reason why they're not in the fight team because they're in the fight He's fighting against us. I love doing that. That's in the people I'm fighting. Okay. Yeah. Hey, um. Steve's gonna roll his first death save. Pretty use. Come on, Steve! What is that? 18. That's 18. 18. That's 18. 18. 18. Roll? I don't know. I feel yeah. like I should re roll it. I feel like. Actually, 18 or 11 saves. So I feel like it's okay. There you go. Uh, it is an 11. Alright. So. He's got his first death save. Right, because it's over 10 and under 10, right? Yeah. Um, is there any way, like, on my next turn, can I roll an investigation for an action? You can do that as, like, a bonus action in case, unless it's something crazy. Like, yeah, I just wanted to see, you like, I feel like Drago being smart enough would be able to figure out, like, why he's, he's healing. Maybe it's something to do with his blood bag still attached to him. Drago would know, like, as a... As a blood that oh, uh, figured it out vampires That's... respawn or regain hit points each turn unless they're hit with holy damage. Because uh, you guys uh, would have learned that against your whole strat. Wait, wait, vampires? Like, I get to do that too? Eventually. Almost had a joke. That's later on. Wait a minute. <laughs> You haven't learned that power yet. Yeah. <laughs> now you have like a yeah, kind of interesting feel, like sidebar of like what will happen eventually. Yeah. Alright, so Steve's on the ground. Uh, these two are going to attack him still. Uh, Bart is going to be attacked. He's going to uh, he's going to get hit by a couple of these attacks, but he's going to fend off most of them as like he doesn't have blood to take. <laughs> right uh, you're the skeleton. He's, he's probably like, come on, you leeches. He's like, fight me, do it, I want you to do it, fight me, do it. You're know, like doggy so <laughs> All right, Isaiah as Winston and Isaiah as the person. Watch me as I roll this. All right, what I roll? Huh? I guess we go. I didn't think so. All right, so what's going to happen with this guy? He had to roll a five or a six, so everybody within his vicinity, which is in the room, so that's like all of y'all roll a dex, uh, intelligence saving throw again. Roll high, roll high. Oh, all right, I rolled an 18. Oh, 18. Okay. Oh. 18. I feel like I should use D&D Beyond. Dude, uh, my issue is I'm rolling just as bad on both. On both. So there's, no, there's no point in rolling the house. Right. You're rolling so 20. I'm just down on the 20 for good luck. Again, you get tossed in the ceiling, and this time you're got, like out of the fight. You're kind of on the roof, so we're going to put you up here. You take 20 point, 28 points more of damage. Um, Uh-oh. Winston, you're going to take 14. Hey, Winston, you're going to take 14. And this is... Weekend state. Uh, Steve takes another death saving throw. Fail- or he takes a failure this time. He takes damage. This guy's weakened. I don't even want to know what it would have been like if he was old war. You're no kidding. So, these two are going to turn. Steve's on the ground. Oh, Eowyn is there. I see Eowyn cutting the blood bags. Eowyn, uh, roll a dodge four times. Okay. Four, two, six, six, seven. Alright. 
So the only ones that you'll take damage for, just barely, are the sixes. So you're gonna take eight per swipe. So you take 16 all together as these two a vampire swan swipe into you. Two times. Alright. And we're back up the top. So Drago, you're up here. You're like on the ceiling right outside. You're not actually on the tower. Yeah, I... Uh, uh, but everybody else is like, you guys can go whatever order you are, but... I took a uh, uh, second win, and gave me, I got a 10, plus 9, gave me 19 hit points. Okay. So I'm at 22 now, to so 3. Are you going to do a how or just a regular second win? It's a regular second win. Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> And then I'm gonna do a um, uh, jump back into the fight. All right. <laughs> Can I jump back on him? I'll give you an advantage on your two attacks you have left because you're jumping downward on him as you do these two attacks. All right, so I'm gonna jump back down on him. That guy's low you. So roll 40s, 20s, and take the best to remember all those when you attack. Seven. Stop rolling that die. It's not worth it. 14. It looks cool, but it's a piece of garbage. 18. Nope, it's a piece of garbage for kids. And a 7. So you got a 14 and 18 plus your attack, so you're going to hit no matter what, but you didn't crit. So you get two full, full attacks on this thing. Okay. 12. 10, so that's 22. Twenty-seven. Damn. Plus twelve. So twenty-seven. What's twenty-seven plus twelve? Oh, Two. This is twenty-nine. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine points of damage for me. Alright, so when you jump back into this thing, you're able to cut through uh what you think as this neck is part of the based on how big it is but like you're like you sink it like you sink your blade in twice and there's just like this fish like this liquid pouring out of it uh but you can also see that other wounds that you caught are starting to heal up as you do that um they all just turn where are you at anyone here are you gonna are you attacking me with the blade? Uh, I'm, i have to defend myself again Dudes that just came after me. Oh gosh, okay. So I'm going to turn on the two dudes that came after me. Uh, and I'm going to. Uh, take that sun blade at the first one. That was a 26 to hit. Okay. <laughs> that is going to hit for sure. Here. That is going to be 21 points of damage on the first one. So you dusted this one. He's got one. Uh, the second one is a 1 plus 10 is an 11. I thought you were, you can never decide what you're going to roll with. But. That rolled like <laughs> crap, so I'm like, I'm going to go over here and that rolled like crap. I'm gonna have somebody else. I'm gonna have Danny. Danny, I need you to roll my dice for me. Let me roll this one. All right. Uh, so at this point, let's roll what we can. Uh, Bart is gonna flip the thing that's on his back, off his back, and he. You hear this sound all of you throughout as you guys are kind of fighting, and it's like this. And uh, both of these things are dusted, as like. Crossbow bolts come out of this like belt fed thing oh. that like attack <laughs> both of these things that need their god. Dude, that's dope. Mark the bed. All right, and Winston, it's your turn. Did All you right. hear what he did? He had like a gun in his bow. Yeah. He's got the Van Helsing Gatling crossbow. All right, my spear reappears in my hand. I'm going to throw it at him again. Twenty-six, it is. Oh yeah. Okay. 
crap. It's not working. Pure mm -hmm. Friday. But we didn't find it. We didn't know it was good. Plus, we points of this. <laughs> Alright, so Isaiah, you're able to throw your spear, your spear through uh, this thing's head and it explodes out the back. Uh, do you say anything to this thing that has mocked you this entire time as you do this? Jebediah? Or Jedediah? Uh. <laughs> Who's the imposter now? <laughs> that's, that's all I can think of. That's literally. Well, that's what Aiden was about to say. Aiden was going to uh, say, like, who's the imposter now, man? Um, looks like a fat steak shish kebab. Elder right. Vampire is nothing to me. Alright, and as you, the spear blows out the other side, and Drago, like, he starts to come down from the ground, uh, to the ground, from this thing melting into its bed, and just seeping into it and dissipating. Uh, the two uh, people, or the one left by Eowyn, starts, uh, turns to dust and evaporates, and you are alone in this chamber. I'm gonna investigate the room. I'm going to the side table and looking in the drawer. I'm gonna check I have everything. To know what's in there. But I'm gonna roll like crap. I rolled a thirteen. I have a plus eight investigation. Yeah. After, and I that, a 13. after that, I was <laughs> everywhere. Okay. I was just like, all right. So what I was investigating for was information on the other two lords. Okay. Like any weaknesses and or of the such. Dude, guys, we just uh, killed like yeah. real life eight. and that real life is terrible. Ah. Huh? And easily, I might add. I didn't hit him once with any kind of radiant damage, except for the poison. I literally... Please tell me you find something, right. Jarga. So, you want me to investigate? Nah, it's too? fine. It's fine. We're going to roll with this. It doesn't make sense when, like, a thousand different people roll. So, uh, one, uh, what you find out in the in the drawer, there's a bunch of different odds and ends. Yes, he did control the money flying throughout uh, Grim Hollow and like the resources, but from the general vibe of the correspondence between the three vampires, uh, this one seems to be the one that has like the crap into this, of the stick. Like he's not treating well according to his brother and sister because he's viewed as like the weakest. So like he, Wanted to make a name for himself by like venturing out. That's why he like played uh, Winston so hard. Um, but those dispelling stones were supposed to be part of that plan, which we've already taken. Um, and they took over. Like Strahd did. Like there are there are some findings that Strahd did ha in fact have control of this city. Uh, but for some reason, he was let go. Like he was he was able to go uh, ahead into the beyond. So like he was able to like make his way down the path. He was released from his service by the Night Mother, and so that these three took his place. So Strahd is now in hell, and these three vampires have taken over. And you can assume downstairs, uh, you walk down if you walk sort of or like look downstairs, the zombies that are manning the bar are kind of in disarray because like the people and the bar hey, are no longer being gone. bleached on and like the vampire spawn that were there are, are have dissipated too and you have taken out a portion of the city's uh, leadership and have been able to like be one step closer to being able to take on this shadow legion nice so you have the drusilla the crazed and victor the bone crusher left uh and that's where we'll end our <laughs> session we that was the easy one. There wasn't anything else about them besides what we already know about the other two. Oh, no, so well, you kind because you already know the location. Yeah, yeah, that's what like I that. meant. So besides like, the location, there uh, we didn't find anything And else you kind of know that she's like twisted, and you made the assumption that I would have told you if not that she's the one that sent these hybrid things out because she likes to experiment on people. Yeah. Uh, so like all those things that 
you guys are too smart for me and have already kind of figured it out. So like the, all that kind of stuff you've already done. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to know the text. And so if I didn't miss anything. Which one did we go for there? I say Victor the Muscle. Oh, make Crusher is gonna, ready. He's gonna make us look like if we kill him, it's gonna make us look like dude. You guys. Yeah, are, she might be willing to participate. Yeah. Or you know, like we might not even have to fight her. No, 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 no. I bet Drusilla's the crazy one, and if we kill her first, Bone Crusher will think twice. 